Let's go and check some formulas related to text columns right now. Once you want to create a new formulas in Outer, guys, it's really easy. We don't need it to use another tool over here to add a new formula. We just have to... Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Alteryx video and today I'd like to share with you how do we do formulas on Alteryx, okay? And also I'm gonna show you seven best formulas that we use most on Alteryx, okay? Let's do it together. Guys, first of all, we needed to have a data set, right? So I'm gonna use text input in this case, then let's put it over here, value, all right? Let's start with value. We can call this column value, value, and the second one call, called value, no, just one, value, and the other one will be, I will change a little bit, guys, because I'm just doing right now, so product and value, okay? So product A, Prod, not product A, let's uh, call this uh, a jacket and then short and then shirt. Okay, let's do one more shoes. All right, that's all. Then the value jacket will be 150, 100, uh, 150, the short will be 90 shirt um 29 and shoes shoes 140 49 149 okay that's all jacket short shirt shoes okay so we have though these products and also with these values let's run our workflow in order to see and then let's start with formulas, right? So the first for, first of all, we have to use this to call formula over here. So it's really simple to find. First of all, you can check in favorite tab. The formula is just right here, or you can go over here a right corner and just type formula in the search bar. And then you will see the results of formula. Please uh, be careful to use the one that has blue background and uh, circle background, okay? Instead, this one, formula in DB, because this is more advanced. We are not using, for now, we are not using this tool, okay? In our to do formulas. We're gonna use this simple tool over here. You can drag and drop from the search bar, or you can go here and, and get from favorite tab or also you can go to preparation section preparation section and then select over here formula okay all of these three ways will result in the same same because you will see this connection over here with the formula too right so once you connect it you are able to use the formula formula uh, usually guys has three steps to be followed the first one is just to select it how the out the column the output column will result we can use this to rewrite one column that we have in our data source or to add a new column it's up to you okay in our case i'm gonna add a new column Okay, and this new column, I will call, uh, let's see, price, uh, price, I will put it this as price, okay, I'm gonna sh uh, name this column as price, just price, okay, then I will just do the first formula over here, the formula will be the value, the column that I have here, the column value, multiplied by multiply by two okay so to get this you have to to get the column first of all you have to type the name of the column over here and then you have to go down until you see this uh, value in blue okay once you have the the field called the name of the column in blue you are able to get this as the column from your data source. So once I click it here, enter, I will see over here the column. This is the second step that we need to follow in the formula two. The first one is, is related to the name of the output column, then the expression. So in this case will be value multiplied by two. 
So to do multiplication, you just have to use asterisk. Once you use, Alteryx will easily understand that this is a multiplication. So I'm going to use value multiplied by 2. And then, guys, the third step in formula, it's over here. It's just right here, data preview. Once you see the results over here, usually Alteryx get the first row do the calculation, do the expression, does the, the expression, and then showed you over here in data preview the, the result, okay? This is good to check if your uh, expression is running well, properly, or not. That's how we use it over here, the expression. And then we check data preview as the third step. There is one more, one plus related to data type okay once you do this so the name of the column the expression that i'm gonna follow and then the data preview that i checked it's perfect i go to data type and then i select it with data type i'm gonna use on this field in this case it's a a value that multiply an integer number so i'm gonna keep on integer i will select the integer 16. this is enough for me in terms of size and then I can just click on run and see the results. I already know that this works because I saw the data preview over here. As you can see in my result window, guys, uh, seems like I didn't do anything. Why? It's because when I look at it in the left side, I don't, I'm not in the output symbol. So be careful to select output to check the results properly. Once you click on output, you will see over here. Now I have jacket, the value is 150, the price is 300. So just multiply it by two, all right? So that's how we do multiplication on Alteryx. What about sum? How can we do sum? Sum is simple, guys. We just have to use sum symbol. Just use the sum symbol and then you will see the results. I'm gonna just replace just to show you. Now it's a sum. Let's learn one more uh, formula, subtraction, so easily as well, okay? And if you want, if you want to divide by two, you just have to use dash. Once you use uh, dash, the results will show you a division. All right, guys, so basics, uh, math formulas, Let's go and check some formulas related to text columns right now. Once you want to create a new formulas in Alteryx, guys, it's really easy. We don't need it to use another tool over here to add a new formula. We just have to go down a little bit and click, in the, and click on this plus symbol over here. And then Alteryx just show a new window. As you can see, name it uh, as two because this one is the first one. Here I have the second, and then I can create a new formula from this point, okay? Also, if you click on this, as I told you, three steps. The first one, select the column, the output column. Now I have price because once Alteryx do this calculation, first you are able to use this result, this column, as part of your second formula also, all right, guys, but in this case, I'm going to use product because I want to do some formulas with text fields with, uh, for you. All right. So let's, let's see. We want to put all of these product names and capital letters. How can we do it? We can just click it here in the expression and then select the expression called uppercase. Okay. If you select the uppercase, Instead of string, always guys, once you have a string in your expression means the, the field. You have just to replace a string uh, with the field that you want to use in this expression. In my case, will be the field called product. So select product. Now I just took the product from here and the third step is check the data preview. Here I have jacket, as you can see my first row, jacket is the result, and now I have jacket in all in capital letter. Just run, and you will see now, Alteryx just changed jacket, created the new price column, 
and also created a product just redo the product with capital letters so in this case instead add a new column we just replace it an existing one okay uh, another one that you can use guys for example i don't want to put all in uppercase i just want the first word in uppercase the other is just in lowercase how can i just apply this kind of expression instead uppercase you use title case okay title case is the name selected over here be careful with the expression to not mess everything so replace a string for product all right now i have product between brackets and then run now just the first one is in uppercase all right uh finally guys let's uh work with some conditional expression okay let's move on a little bit a little bit harder now just to create some conditional expression i want to show you the if condition if condition it's really good when you have some rows that you want to use uh in order to do calculation but sometimes the results will be different be, uh, considering some field some criteria some rule okay let's consider for example if i have jacket I want to just put it this price plus multiplied by two again so this price will be multiplied by two okay and when I don't have jacket I don't want to do this rule I want to keep the same price that I have in this previous column how do I do it using using if condition uh, so let's move in here I added a new formula as you can see here i will just change the price column now i'm gonna change this price column that i created here over here okay with a new condition and the condition will be related to if expression so once you click on an if you will see many results that fit with this type but you can just click in the first one usually the first one is the the most accurate in terms of match with your uh search all right so i'm gonna use this label if c then t else f and if okay click it over here what's the c means c means the condition what is the condition that you want to use in my case if product the column product is equal equal jacket be careful because here guys as i showed you uh before when we, no no i didn't show you so i'm gonna do right now when you are guys working with text expressions you have to use quote so i'm gonna use this this quote mark and a simple one okay not double uh and then i'm gonna uh, send the expression the cell that i want to use in my condition in my case the product equal jacket so just type jacket again quote as you can see now after to just put all this word in green which means that is being considering uh as a text for author okay be careful with that because if you don't use quotes you will receive like this black and as you can see here i have a red flag calling me that there is a issue with the expression what is the issue because jacket is a text and i'm not using quotes to run my expression all right so once you have this you are able to continue so this is the condition product equal jacket then what is the true result of this condition because there are two results possible in this case the true one and the false one the true one will be when product is equal jacket i want to do price be careful to select the field price uh, between brackets price plus not plus multiplied by two else else is a false condition 
else I want to keep the same price that I had before. So instead of any calculation, I'm going to just pass price for Alteryx right here. So price multiplied by 2, else just price, okay? Just price when? When product is different than jacket, okay? In this case, it's equal jacket, then price multiplied by 2, else price. And if it's a regular rule that we have to follow, follow it in this if condition, if expression on Alteryx. All right, guys, as you can see just right now, once I finish the price selection over here, I'm able to see the data preview. So the data preview is related to with data, the first row. So 75 multiplied by two, we result in 150. So this is correct. I can go and run. Once I run, I will see now the price adjusted as in the in the sense that I want to do it. Okay. Here the price was value uh, divided by two. Then I created a title case for product, and finally I created an if condition, if expression just to multiply by two when I have the product called jacket, okay? So those are the, I would say, we, we learned some subtraction, multiplication, division, then title case and uppercase, and then if condition. So those are the seven expressions that we can use a lot in Alteryx with formulas too. There are many others, guys. You just have to go and check on the, just Google it. Okay. I want to do blah, blah, blah in Alteryx, blah, blah, blah formula in Alteryx. Just Google it. You will see, and then just apply the expression over here and have fun. Okay. So guys, those are the seven most used formulas on Alteryx. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Share this content with anyone that you think will be useful. And please leave in the comment down below if you have any doubts, any concerns, any any help do you want uh, from me. It would be a pleasure to help you and see you in the next video. Bye.